up. Oh, oh my goodness. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be trimming back all the overgrowth in my tank. I got a new frag rack that I'm excited to put in. I, I didn't wanna get another frag rack, but the thing is, there's just too much growth going on. I have nowhere to put the frags, so I had to get another one. It just had to happen. So we're gonna put that up. I'll have double-sided frag racks. You guys already know I'm rocking the Reef Tank Vibes shirt. You guys can pick yours up. Link in the description, shoplata.com. One big thing that I wanna do is I've been wanting to put these Blastos and A-cans on uh, on discs. I just got the disc in the mail, so we're gonna do that because as you can see, they're just massive and they keep, the plugs just keep tilting over and I, I don't want that to happen anymore. Look, this A-can died because it was in the sand too much. All the corals that we got are still doing good. Uh, definitely gonna unplug that hammer right there and stick him down. In terms of trimming, right? This is what we're gonna have to trim. I think I'm gonna cut back a couple frags of this, uh, is it Fruity Pebbles? I wanna say it's Fruity Pebbles. Boom, cut back a couple frags. What the heck happened to the, look at that guy. He's dangling there, I don't know what happened to him. I wanna cut a couple pieces of this Space Invader Chalice that it's about to hit the meteor shower over there. And then we're going to trim back this acro up here. Remember how we said, so that way I can place the other acro here and start like a little acro garden, which would be dope. Look at this guy right now. Is he just loving life or what? Actually, that's the big girl. She, she's loving life. Disappearing in there. I've had a frag rack over on this side before and I didn't like it just because this is kind of like, I don't know, it just, it obstructs this beautiful view right here. But it, it's what has to be done in order to get this tank trimmed up, you know? Um, hopefully it'll only be temporary. I could, you know, sell some of it off and then go back down to the to the one frag rack. So yeah, I'm on a mission today. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single week. You're gonna wanna be here for it, Tuesdays and Fridays now. I already set up like a semi station over here. I have a couple of discs and frag plugs um, kind of working here. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough frag plugs to be honest, but it is what it is. I'm using the Ocean Wonders discs and I believe the frag plugs were the same. These actually have like a rougher surface and a smooth surface. I'm not sure which one. I would think you're supposed to glue onto the rough surface, so that way like it adheres more, but that could be wrong. Uh, we got our little bin here. We're gonna dip some corals, our glue. I just use the dollar store super glue gel. I know a lot of people use other specific coral glue. You could absolutely do that. This has always worked for me, so it's what I use. And then in terms of the new frag rack we're using, I picked this guy up on Amazon, the large max rack, which apparently holds 41 frags. I don't think we'll be making that many today, but uh, at least we know we can if we have to. Hopefully this fits on the uh, side of my tank. I was waiting for you guys to open it too, so we can have a first, first look. They got me. Because it was all on black photos, I thought it was a black frag rack, like my black frag rack. Turns out it's freaking clear. Comes with whatever this is. Two of their little uh, frag plugs. It says reefing art on there. That's cool. Dang, I gotta say, I am super freaking bummed that this is not black. Like, eh. these are pretty serious freaking magnets. Holy jeez. So, those are glued over there. It's a super cool design, which is dope. Wow, this thing sucks to take off. All right, so here is the rack. It's definitely pretty sturdy. Yeah, so the only thing that is so-so is that it's clear, not black. Just to be clear, it probably says on the listing that it's clear, not black, so that's my own fault for not properly reading. Anyway, we got a clear rack now. Here goes nothing. Oh, I forgot my clownfish hate me. Boom, we got the frag rack in. I usually keep it like around mid height. It seems like a good spot. It is way bigger than that one that I have over there, which is, I guess, good because we can load that puppy up. Now that the hard part's done, this guy's just staring at me. I'm gonna put him on a plate first. Close, just give him nice little love taps. 
this thing is way too big for this plug. Well, just grab him too. This is just like a multi little section right here. We're gonna get this Christmas Fabia right here. I'm gonna end up sticking just to a rock. So I'm just gonna cut the plug off of that, like right there. Ooh, look, we got a little starfish. Hello, buddy. You'll go back in the tank. He's trying to hide every which way he can right now. Ah, sheesh. That thing was strong. That was pretty good. Two more. Look at this one. This guy has so many, oh crap. This guy has so many heads. Try to break this one off the rock too. Oh, that, that one came off easy. Nice. Look how pretty they all are. Covered up the plates a little bit so you could barely tell. I mean, this one I could have probably done a little better job, but whatever. The whole point is now that they won't tip over because they have a sturdy base. I used to not really like plates that much until I realized how clutch they are when you're putting stuff on the sand bed for it to not continuously get knocked over. And then this guy, we stuck right in there. He might not have enough light. We might end up moving him, but I wanted to get something in that little area because it was looking kind of dull. Also, the plates come in clutch because now they have kind of like, they could grow out a little bit. Like, you know, when you see coral vendors have discs and plates and the corals have space to grow. They're not just like growing on top of each other. I ripped off that little piece that was broken on the Slimer, and stuck it on a plug. First frag plug going in. Boom, that fit beautiful. I, I need to bring it closer. I was also able to take the gold hammer off of that disc and just stick it straight to the rock work. Not the cleanest job, but it still does look a lot better than it was looking before, so. We all right. I feel like that nice overhang right there wants to be trimmed. It's kind of nice, but it's like literally the perfect frag. I think he's there for the long haul. Yep, nope. Oh God, I just ruined that up. Dang it. I'm gonna put this guy on a plug simply because, oh no, I'm stuck. I wanna use the frag rack. Such a pretty piece. Check this out. We also have some extra frags from my rack that uh, they've been chilling there for a while. And the, the look how big these frags have gotten. If I was to sell this bigger piece, it would be more, but people don't really wanna spend more money on frags. So I can make this smaller and just sell it for 20 bucks. Um, I got two of those that actually grew pretty big. I'm gonna be rich after this video. Just by trimming up those corals that I had overgrowth on and a couple other things, look how many frags I got. Boom! At $20 a piece at least? Come on now. I also picked up the, um, the pink hippozoas that I had here, and I thought they would be pretty cool right there. Once I trim back, this is the a big piece I gotta trim right here. The good thing about this this acro though is that like I don't worry about putting it on frags like that because it's not like a high-end acro. So I'll just break off huge chunks and I cleared off some space over there. So I'll just put like the full sticks just in those little holes. Boom, look at that. Like you see this humongous piece right here? 20 bucks. Look how thick it is in there. It's so thick we're gonna have to, you know, find Oh, oh my goodness, that was not, holy crap, that was not as big as I was anticipating. Um, great. Now we panic. That actually worked out great because this is what I need to take off. But, <laughs> 20 bucks, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But dang, what the heck do I do with this now? Shit. That's not good. Hence the problem with no room in the tank. Now I have absolutely nowhere to put this. So I'll end up probably just throwing it on top of the rest of the acro, which is, is not ideal at all. This is a huge colony right here. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably honestly just list this up for like 60 bucks. See if I can get a quick sale on it. Just got to get under the water. Beautiful. <laughs> Like it was never friggin' gone. I uh, am out of normal frag plugs. I'm also out of glue. However, we have one other thing. I, well, two other things. I wanted to glue the acro to the rock. I might be able to scrape out enough to do that. But then also the Space Invader Chalice was overgrown. I already accidentally tapped it, as you can see. This is the part I didn't, I wanted to get rid of because it's hitting that wall. 
this stuff it like it looks so like sturdy and then it's literally just like a freaking cracker it's the worst i'm gonna chop this one in half and then i'm gonna let it heal so i'll have three little pieces there um that's all i'm gonna leave i'm just gonna leave this growing right now for now to be honest look how bad that looks right there it ripped off sorry bud i want to try to see if this acro i don't know why i'm using these tongs right now see if it fits right in this little hole no i think i could glue it in there somehow we did it i squeezed out just enough glue to get it to stick in there now that i broke off that acro up there exactly what i wanted happened more light came down here those pink hippozoas are getting a nice little dabble of light there hopefully that opens up in that little spot fills up that little empty gap nicely <laughs> look how many smaller acro pieces i have back there too 10 20 30 dollar pieces we got it all i gotta make sure you gotta keep an eye on it that it doesn't hit the uh grafted monty because it will kill it now we just gotta pick up this mess let everything open up and then we'll kind of take a look look at this frag rack everything is trimmed back against the wall we trimmed we trimmed it looks like nothing happened actually that's a lie right there we really made a big difference by chopping that piece off but it's in the back right now so it kind of looks a little bit the same but we'll see we'll give everything a little a little bit of time to open up and, and settle back in we are back and let me tell you these corals are looking beautiful we have so many frags talk about a fool I mean, it's not really that full, but it, it's a it's a nicely stocked up frag rack there. Something pissed off the Duncans. I don't know what's going on down there, but I'm going to show you guys a top down of these. <laughs> Look at the, these things. We got some beautiful frags here. Fish keep messing up the water, but look at those pieces. We got nice pink hippos. We got rainbow trolls. We got the Pikachus mixed with the Bam Bams. Look at that beautiful piece of uh free pebbles i think it is we got some jack oh more pink hippos purple monsters bam look at that bam bam polyp frag back there doesn't look too bad from this side because it is stocked if there was only like two polyps on it that would look kind of silly but that's looking good um the acro back there is still doing okay the pink hippos in the center there have started to open up they're still adapting but look at how nice that looks there once they get nice and fluffy that's like a I don't know. That was a good call, I think. I think it's going to look really cool once they fill up and they get... Remember, those were kind of uh, a little darker in color because they were sitting at the bottom. So once they color up like those over here to the right next to the Fruity Pebbles, that's going to look really, really nice there. And the Acro that's chilling on top looks like a little baby right now, but once it starts growing out, yeah, we're looking good. Trimming back coral always makes me feel so good. It just feels like the tank is clean. I got a frag rack full of stuff to make my money back and reinvest it back into the tank because we all know that's what's gonna happen. I could definitely trim some more stuff, but I'll wait till I sell some of this off and then do another session to make more room for new pieces. If any of you guys are local and interested in some of the frags that we trim back, hit me up on Instagram, shoplater.com, you're a Reef Tank Vibe shirts. And if you're local to Miami, September 24th, Skelly Fest Ultimate Aquatic Expo. We have some amazing vendors coming out. It's gonna be an expo that you guys do not wanna miss. Skellyfest.com, tickets are only $12 online right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.